a Thursday and I've just finished work for what is effectively a long weekend, but it's not going to be very relaxing <laughs> because we've got to speed run blacking the boat. Basically, we just need good weather for it so that it dries. This isn't looking good. Amy's walking to the bridge. So there's a swing bridge just around the corner to get back onto the Grand Union Canal. Time for these again. Amy, come in, do your copy, over. I read over. <laughs> Never gets old. Stop raining, over. Swing bridge done, now on to the water point. Amy's just pressure washing the plants. No, I need one of those plants. <laughs> um... Genuinely, Amy will come out and be like, why are all my plants dying? Also, Amy. done now so the next stop is Debdale Wharf. They've said that we can go in there tonight so that we can get lifted out in the morning first thing which is really great so we're gonna moor up I think on the slip way. In the slip way. It's not a slip way in the the dock bit where they lift you out. And then yeah first thing in the morning we'll be hoisted up to a terrifying height and then we'll have to get painting. prepared for this the fact that this time tomorrow our boat's going to be on a crane out of the water and like we're, we're prepared in the sense of we've done our research on the types of paint and the drying time and like all of that kind of stuff but i feel underprepared in the sense of like what do we do are we supposed to like strap the fridge down <laughs> are we supposed to like clear all the glasses out of the cupboards in case they fall over like the plant pots are just still on the roof. I've tried to search it. There's nothing online that like tells you this stuff. So you're supposed to just already know it. It's just the classic boat thing of if you know, you know. If you don't, you find out the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that so much more menacing than the first time we went past it? Too busy being scared of the crane, and I was just gone right past it. <laughs> it's like my subconscious is like, yeah. Well done, Wes. There we go, we're going in. Those two straps are quite close together, and our boat's obviously 50 foot long. I don't understand how they get the, the right bit. Surely, if they get it wrong, they lift it, and that's it. Your boat's, your boat's gone. So there's going to be no boats going past and we're going to be moved tomorrow. So what do we need to do with the ropes, Wes? Just a very simple, easy knot. Thank you. <laughs> That's a big crane. It's absolutely massive. It's really scary. <laughs> It also just blows my mind that our 15 or so ton house is lifted up on just two bits of fabric. <laughs> like, how is that strong enough? Insert's not too bad. 20 down and 22 up, so yeah, should be good. It would be really convenient if our gas ran out this weekend so that we can swap it while we're here top up on diesel and then go. Based on past experiences, our gas will run out as soon as we leave. It's getting quite late now in the evening and we've got a very, very big day tomorrow. 
So we're just doing a little bit of chilling, a bit of unwinding, and then we're going to get plenty of sleep, get up bright and early, and have our house lifted six foot in the air. I think we're going to wake up at like seven so that we can like get the boat tidied maybe move like the glassware and stuff i don't know i'm excited though we're not that stressed are we yeah doing all right we're not that stressed friday morning and today's the big day any minute now we'll be hoisted up in that crane and lifted about six foot in the air. So nerve wracking. We are also going to make a video of how we did it, the step-by-step -step guide and everything like that. So we'll link that here if you're interested in the more specifics. So right now we're just prepping the boat. We don't really know what that involves, but we're just taking stuff off the roof that might fall off, that sort of thing. I think the rest will be fine. So we've been, we've also got all of our supplies ready, we think. So we've got two of the big thick brushes. We've got two rollers, a mini roller, and a paint brush to get in the nuts and, nooks and crannies, and gloves. So hopefully that should be enough. And then the marina is providing us with the paint. Are you sure? Yes. I'm also just getting Dupes' carry case ready because we'll obviously take him out of the boat when it's being lifted in the air. Rufus, you staying on the boat while the crane's lifting it up to make sure nothing breaks. waiting for the pressure washing to be done. I think it's taken about half an hour. It's not, not too bad. But the condition of the boat looks actually quite good. There's some pitting, but it doesn't look too deep. But other than that, it looks quite good. So it's not great news. This is flaking off the base plate, which is the underside of the hull. It's quite a lot. And basically, as soon as the boat got lowered onto the hard standing, a bunch of it just fell off. The guy who's currently blasting it said that it might be all right because the hull itself doesn't look like it's too badly pitted. And it might just be that the previous owners had blacked over rust or blacked when it was wet and it hasn't stuck or they haven't done the base plate properly. So the whole base plate is covered in this stuff that looks like rust. So we're gonna have to wait until it's completely pressure washed to assess basically whether the base plate's screwed or not. But this stuff is incredibly brittle and literally just flaked off. This is the really scary bit. It's going all the way up to these like six foot tall standings. Oh, not real. I'm just nervous now about the bottom. I just, because if it's, the whole thickness is too thin from rust, just get it overplated and overplated can have complications. And, and it's can, over the whole base plate. You can be out of the water for months. Oh. come off with the pressure washer and it's things like that that's the start of a bit that's 
This is really nerve wracking. We can literally see huge chunks of the base plate falling off. Oh, it might not be the base plate. Don't say that. We're under the boat. We're under our boat. <laughs> so, it's not great. It's not urgent. They just said that we've caught it just in time and it's not going to hopefully get any worse as long as we put the black in and make sure it goes right into the pit. So you can see every bit of grey is bare steel. And obviously you shouldn't have that. But this is obviously the previous one where it used to be. And if I put my thumb in these holes, you can see how deep some of them go. And that is where it's eroded. Don't believe the rumors when people say you don't have to black the bottom of the boat because you do, because the previous owners didn't black the bottom of the boat and this has happened. So now what we have to do is wait for the bottom to dry and then we can paint it. We've just got to get the pet settled because we can't get on the boat while it's up here. So we thought that while it was up there, we'd be able to get on it and we didn't really pack stuff to get off it. So when he said you won't be able to get on it while you're doing the base, I just panicked and grabbed what I could. We probably should have got Dupes' pen or something. And I was like, oh no, he doesn't have any lettuce. But I forgot about my garden. So we can have some of this parsley. And you can have this strawberry that we didn't pick in time that's going a bit funny. Getting a bit hungry waiting. It's kind of annoying because we've got all our snacks and our food there, but I can't get to them. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's like a mirror. All right, gloves on before yeah. everyone shouts at us. Are you ready? Here we go, this is it. Aching yet? Yes. Look how much we've done. <laughs> Basically nothing. Amy's adopted the, the lesser known finger painting. <laughs> Why are you painting it over your face? Just don't judge the methods. Amy is definitely the more chaotic painter. There is currently more paint on Amy's hands than there is on the boat. Just to help me. So we've just been given a tip that apparently, even with the pitting, a roller is much quicker and then use the brush for any extra bits after that. So we're going to try that. My arms, my shoulders and my everything. can't get to the bits that aren't dry yet. There's some bits in the middle that we haven't done and then we just have to wait for it to dry a little bit more and then we'll be lowered onto the other platforms and then the pets can go back inside and stuff like that. So <sighs> it's tiring though but it's not too bad so far is it Wes? Yes. Where's that gap? Where's that gap? The base plate is done. We have painted the whole thing and gone in all of the little nooks, nooks and crannies and we're very happy with how much it's covered. So hopefully that should be fine. A little update on earlier with the panic. Yeah. It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. The, basically the pitting that we did have was not ideal, but it wasn't causing any problems. But if it got worse, then it would cause a problem. So we've kind of caught it just at the right moment and as long as we keep on top of the blacking it should be fine. That was a close call. I think I closed my eye just in time and nearly got it in my mouth as well. Look how close it is though to go in Amy's eyes. 
I asked on Twitter for some good tips of like how to how to like black the boat and any last minute tips. And Rachel said to put her headband, um, a bandana on, and I wear. We do have both of them, and we were going to wear both of them, but they were in the boat. And now, in true boat time fashion, the weather has turned, and it looks like it's going to start raining very soon. She's back down at a much less scary height. So now we can go back on it. We're allowed to basically live on it for the weekend. All aboard. I'm scared. Is it weird? Does it feel really high up? Yeah, I'm scared to get on. I feel like it's just going to tip. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? We're so used to it tipping when you stand on it. It's funny because that's how everyone acts that isn't used to boats. That's how they act when they get on it and it rocks. That's how we feel when it doesn't rock. <laughs> Is it weird? Yeah. This is so strange. It feels really high up here. When you're used to the ground being basically where the red bit is. I don't know, don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> this is the view. And it's just a drop. This is basically how we have to live now for the weekend, which is very strange. I'm moving around like so gingerly because you sort of realise how much your brain is used to calibrating because Amy just walked down past the bathroom and I nearly fell over because I think when I see that, I automatically correct. Amy said when you go to the bow, it feels like in a thriller movie where a jeep's hanging off the end of a cliff. <laughs> it does. I really hate this. It feels really weird. I expect it to tilt. So I feel like it's now tipping that way and that makes me feel very unhappy. I hate it. <laughs> I want to go back in the water. Careful. <gasps> Did it move? Finally time for our lunch break. It's going to paint number three. Currently 6.30 p.m. We woke up at 7. Been painting since about 12. Just pay someone to do it. painted the entire underneath and all around the sides and the front and it feels amazing the first coat is the hardest one because the other ones are just kind of topping it up so we did it and it's only friday evening time to try and get some of this paint off it's understandably very water resistant so we have to use white spirit to try and get some of it off and it just doesn't come out of clothes which is why we wore these old ones <laughs> the only problem is i don't i don't fancy going in that close to my eye with terps so this is just this is just me now this is the look and i've got it on my psoriasis i can't i should put a white spirit on a skin condition it's going to be the best get get overalls doing this oh dear oh no oh the bitumen's really showcasing its water resistance as we really can't get this stuff off amy's looking very artistic it turns out that bitumen based paints make for a surprisingly effective fake turn i've opted for the aggressive rubbing until it yields approach i think i'm just slowly sanding off my skin I thought for the 
literally pour it all over yourself. I feel like we've got gotten to the point where we we should disclaim, don't do this. It seems like a bad idea and it feels wrong. It's not something that the average boat time viewer is used to seeing. Us actually doing quite a good job of painting. I have just noticed we've missed a bit. Look at that. Credit where it's due. This little boy has been very patient today sunbathing. Dinner's ready, baby! We've earned this! We have worked so hard today and we are rewarding ourselves with a substantial takeaway and we're going to watch Stranger Things and just relax and bask in the good job that we did. Cheers! Been chilling for a little while now and it's getting quite late but <laughs> we're so not used to being on hard standing and it's really messing with us because when we walk around on the boat, we've realized that we automatically calibrate, so it, everything just feels off. It feels weird. And <laughs> Amy got up and noticed one of the ornaments on a hook was swinging a little bit, and we just thought, it shouldn't move. We're, we're on the ground. Well, we're, we're on wood on the ground. So we've just gone out and had a look, and the wood that we're sat on looks fine. But it's just weird, and I don't get it, and I don't like it. I it's want to be. It's definitely bit of swaying as well. I feel like we're seeing something, but it's definitely swaying. Good morning. We're gonna try and get two coats done today because that means we have managed to get the total three coats and then tomorrow can just be a drying day. It needs to be able to dry for at least 24 hours before going back in the water on Monday morning. I don't know what we were stressed about with the weekend. I think obviously we've been lucky because if, if it would have rained yesterday, we wouldn't have been able to be as productive. But yeah, I think we're easy gonna be able to do the three coats that we was aiming for. So we're gonna do one coat this morning and then one coat this afternoon. This is annoying though. Poo. I think they sit on the crane and they've pooed on our brand new shiny paint. She's looking good though, isn't she? I've literally just finished the second coat around the waterline and it started spitting with rain. I'm not gonna paint anymore and I'm gonna give it like five, 10 minutes because I don't wanna put a coat on and then it just start pouring down and it ruined the paint. At least I've got one on the waterline and that should be drying before it properly starts raining. Hopefully it doesn't rain all day. Fingers crossed. Well, the weather's taken a turn for the worst. We've got two weather apps. Apple says it's basically going to rain all day and Dark Sky said it was going to rain for about 20 minutes and now it's going to rain for another 40 minutes. So, no idea. There's not much you can do. We're just going to watch Stranger Things and just wait out the rain and as soon as it stops raining, we're going to whip out another coat as fast as we can, I think. I've never paid quite so much attention to the rain before but I think it's slowing down and it's gotten slightly brighter. 
Obviously we need it to be dry enough to dry the now wet boat before we can put more paint on. Fingers crossed, we will just have to keep waiting. It's almost half one now. So raining. Worst case scenario, we whip the paint out at 8pm tonight and bang a coat on. And that would be the second coat and that's enough. Seems reasonable. <laughs> I just wish we could get it out of the way. However, we definitely should be using this time wisely and maybe doing some DIY or something, I don't know. Instead, we're just moping around on the sofa because we're tired and we want it to not rain. We could also be getting on with some tidying, which I don't want to. Still raining, but we have got cold pizza. So, it's slightly stopped raining, but it's still like misty in the air. So we're devising a plan because we want to get going and it's two o'clock. We've got a tarps in the roof box up there. We're going to try and move the steps opposite the roof box and like reach over and get in there and get the tarps. The only side that we can access the roof box is on the side where the last two remaining rusty screws are. And we can't put the stairs around the other side because the pier's too short. So I'm gonna have to balance on the gunnel and try and saw it off. Oh God, don't try this at home. Feels quite high up. But the tarp is literally under everything. Did it. And it's just started raining again. We could really do with getting some more paint on. So Amy's hatched a cunning plan. And get the tarp, use bricks to carefully weigh it onto the gunnel, and that'll give us a very mini dry dock. Okay, here it is, the genius contraption. We've got paint tin, loosely bungee corded onto our tarp which is also loosely corded onto a tap. And then we've got a couple of bricks, which might fall on our head. And then a jar of pound coins, which probably isn't gonna do much. Welcome in. Here we go. <laughs> it is a little bit more cramped. We could do this though. There's a brick there, it might land on my head. We've also found some sort of sheet. We might be able to put it along a different bit of boat. It's quite floaty. It's got like a mind of its own. It's magical. So try and fold it in half. <laughs> oh, <my goodness. laughs> We're gonna take off. Oh, it needs a dry dock. <laughs> we put it over the whole boat. I might be about to suffocate. <laughs> Let's get out. Get lost. Get out. 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 Right, it's raining more now. Excellent. Brilliant. <laughs> the tarp idea, I think, is gonna. F I don't know. I feel like the water's gonna collect in here and, and be a problem. Why is it raining more now? Yeah? We're gonna have to keep poking it so that the water runs off the right way. The brick fell off and it's raining more, and I'm sad. Maybe it's just in a sea of tarp. <laughs> Hey, it's all going wrong. Why did it have to rain? We always wondered when we looked at all these tutorials and things of people doing their own blacking. It, it, they always get good weather. It's July. <laughs> oh no, the rain has breached our one good, good section. I hate this. This is the worst. <laughs> it's another failed attempt, so I guess we just wait. We try, we keep an eye on it. In good news though, there was a little blue tip feeding off of our bedroom bird feeder and I saw him. I didn't. That's Jeremy Rydock. We'll try and capture him for you. Capturing him on camera. 
not physically capture him <laughs> and steal him and keep him as our third pet. If he's any good with a paintbrush, I might actually try and detain him. We're just like, oh, there's a boat getting a pump out. That's kind of interesting. Do you know that hose pipe we was using yesterday? It's the hose pipe that they use for the pump out, I think. So, Wes is doing some editing and rather than moping around, I'm going to try and do something productive. So, we bought one of these at Crick and it's a mat that goes underneath your mattress to stop condensation. And it adds like a, a layer of airflow, basically. So, I'm just going to install this. raining again <laughs> we just about managed to get a, a very quick coat on. i'm just worried it's not going to dry now or it's going to dry like you know where it makes the paint it's going to go all gloopy or and something it soft though over time we'll see there's nothing we can do about it the weather has been awful every time we've checked the forecast it's changed and we just have to go for it while we're under here in the rain though we may as well try and get a bit more on this bit because it doesn't get as wet Easy. Easy. Ooh. Blue skies and it looks pretty clear over there. That might be in the last rain for the evening. Why would you drink it? Oh. Touch one. <laughs> really, everything's steel. <laughs> We've just about finished our frantic second coat. It's not perfect. We haven't been able to go round and stab in all the pits and all the rest of it because it rained. Hopefully it's better than nothing. It doesn't look like it's going gloopy. It's stopped raining and the sun's coming out a little bit. So hopefully we can even get one more coat on this evening. And then it's probably going to be a case of getting up really early on Sunday and trying to get just an extra coat on so that we can leave at 24 hours and go back in on Monday. We have been a bit messy though. No, don't, don't point that out. That's not too bad. It doesn't stick to gloss paint that well, so no. it'll come off eventually. Come here. It is bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not great. Our nemesis of this weekend. The sky. <laughs> Alright, almost time to try and get one more coat on. <laughs> Oh look, it suddenly started chucking it down. The weather forecast assured me that after five o'clock it would be sunny. It is half seven and it's time for another bout of torrential rain. Go, 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 oh go. <laughs> Everything's wet. We had to run out there to get all the brushes and put them in a bin bag overnight. We were going to use them again tonight before the rain happened. I'm genuinely really stressed. I've tried to Google it. I don't know if the rain is going to like damage the blacking. When we applied it, it was dry, but obviously it was supposed it's... to wait 24 hours before it's submerged in water and does torrential rain basically do the same thing as submerging it. It's meant to wait 12 hours before you get it wet. And to make things worse, we've just found a leak. It's coming from... 
from there. That's the top window seal and it's dripping directly on the bed. Hey, Amy. Sun's out now. I'm not getting excited. I hate the weather. Chef Amy's whipping up a storm. Trying to. Balancing out last night's Papa John's takeaway with salad-y, freshy, healthy things. Dinner is served. It is a mountain of salady bits, coleslaw, potato, and tofu. Very Thank you. healthy, and I'm gonna put loads of salad cream on it. I'm gonna put loads of mayo on mine. Well, that didn't quite go to plan, did it? Hopefully next week gets better. Make sure you tune in to find out what happens. And a great big thank you to Sharkoolies, Mark, Trey and Jasper, and Paul and Laura for the chips this week. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and check out all of our socials for sneak peeks on what we get up to.